Hello, curious minds. Today, we're going to embark on an exciting short journey into the world of deep learning, a powerful tool in your AI toolkit. So let's unravel the mysteries of how machines learn and think. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's Demetrius here from OB Pixel. And today, once again, my brand, OB Academy, where we have great courses for you, for your future. Today, we'll be discussing a topic that's quite integral in, in artificial intelligence and machine learning, and that is deep learning. You see, deep learning was inspired by the human brain structure. It's built on neural networks consisting of layers of nodes, all the systems involved in the entire network, pretty much the way our neurons work in our brains. And they are, they are working together to process information. So these networks can learn and make decisions on the data that they're given. So in the segment one, we're going to discuss this concept of convolutional neural networks or CNNs. You see, these are like the vision experts in deep learning you know, graded handling images and uh, video and so on. And have you ever wondered how Google Photos or Apple Photos, for example, sorts out your pictures and puts them in categories and knows exactly who's in the photos, right? You see, convoluted neural networks, they're the heroes behind the scenes. They analyze and they organize all the data based on patterns that they can figure out. And CNNs excel in tasks like image recognition and helping self-driving cars understand the road signs and understand the pedestrian environment so that they can detect any pedestrians walking in the roads. So that's one of the most beautiful things about CNNs. They're the vision experts. In um, segment two, for example, or the second part of this little short video, let's talk about recurrent neural networks or RNNs. See, these networks are all about sequencing and uh, they're great for language translation and speech recognition, uh, even composing music. They're ideal for this kind of thing. So RNNs really can remember the previous input and because it's in a, in a sequence as of data coming in, it makes them ideal for tasks where context and order matters, like predicting the next word in a sequence or predicting the next music note in, in the composed, uh, the composition of the sounds and figuring out what would come next based on all the patterns. So it's a very, very cool technology, very, um, very powerful technology that we use today, actually. And when it comes to the third part of this little video, just I'm only doing sort of three little subtopics of deep learning and there are a lot more than this but just to give you a little bit of a of a view of what deep learning is all about there's one other aspect that obviously you're very familiar with today last but not least in this case generative adversarial networks or gans you see these are again once again creative geniuses capable of generating new content based on all the data that is fed into these systems so they work they have a, a dual pr uh, process system. So they've got one part of the network generating, the, let's say, for example, the content and the images, while the other part of that network evaluates and confirms and makes sure that it's correct and clean. So you get to use these GANs all the time. I'm sh and I'm sure you've used them in things like GPT or ChatGPT, the, con the consumer versions. You've used them in Copilot from Microsoft. You use them in BARD. You use them in uh, Google's Gemini. You know, that's what the whole idea is of generative AI is all about. And they're using these generative adversarial networks to do this. So GANs have, have been used to create realistic content uh, content that's that's valid, con uh, artwork that's almost real, fashion designs, you know, even down to enhancing movie footage. I've actually seen a couple of films that have been remastered using AI. It's, it's a beautiful thing to see. And um, it really shows, well, it showcases the diverse potential that they have 
in artificial intelligence and essentially the machine, le machine learning aspect of deep learning. So deep learning transforming, it's transforming the industries today. A across the world, it's transforming healthcare and finance and logistics and so on. And um, with all this advanced diagnostics, you can you can get new tools and in, in company organizations such as entertainment and smart algorithms that can recommend you the next favorite movie based on your history of watching films it's it's really a beautiful thing to see so if you're intrigued by this technology and uh, you're willing to forego some of your fears don't worry we have you covered at obi academy we really break down these complex uh, concepts down to bite size, uh, easy to understand lessons and topics. You know, we spent a long time building these courses. It's taken us six years to do this. You know, anyone can build courses, but to really explain the topics in an easy way it takes time. So you'll not only learn the theory behind all these technologies, but you'll also put into practice with hands on experience, labs, and exercises applying these technologies in the classroom whether it's online with the self-paced courses or on site or online with training companies that we supply courses with so we hope to see you on on our courses and if you are you know starting out and you're aiming to sort of deepen your knowledge and you're a beginner don't worry about that if you are even an advanced user you may just learn something new but we have the resources to guide you in your learning journey and um, at the moment, there's a 25% discount on all our courses uh, to help you get started. So if you're interested, the details will be shown on the screen. So thanks for watching. Uh, explore our courses in the community that we have, and let's hopefully shape the future together. Thanks, everyone, for listening. Uh, appreciate your time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, click the notification bell. I do appreciate your... Uh, support in building my channel i'm hoping to have more time and more uh more simple and easy videos for you in the future that's the point of this channel and if you're interested in our courses go on to the website details you see at the moment on ob academy and start your journey towards your future thanks everyone once again my name is demetrius from ob pixel and today ob academy signing out